Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, picture this. Dublin's buzzing Grafton Street, packed to the brim with eager fans waiting for a surprise Coldplay gig. The air's electric, everyone's on their toes, and then BM, who should come barging in like she owns the place. None other than our favorite attention-seeking, crown-ditching, drama queen herself, Meghan Markle. Now, I know what you're thinking. What in the name of yellow is she doing there? Well, my friends, it seems our dear Duchess of Desperation decided that Coldplay's impromptu street performance was the perfect stage for her latest publicity stunt. Oh boy, was she in for a rude awakening. Let me paint you a picture. There's Chris Martin. Cool as a cucumber, belting out the first notes of their new hit, We Pray with Burna Boy. The crowd's going wild, phones are in the air, and it's pure magic. Then, out of nowhere, like a tacky, zealous tornado, Macon comes swooping in, all smiles and waves, trying to muscle her way to the front. Now, I've seen some cringeworthy attempts at stealing the spotlight before, but this, this takes the cake, frosting, and the whole darn bakery. Our girl Megan, clearly not content with being a failed royal, decided she needed to be a failed rock star too. Talk about diversifying your portfolio of embarrassments. Chris Martin, bless his heart, doesn't miss a beat at first. He's a pro after all. But you can see the confusion in his eyes, like did we accidentally book an opening act from the Desperate for Fame talent agency? The rest of the band looks like they've just bitten into a lemon, sour faces all around. But here's where it gets good, folks. Megan, in all her delusional glory, starts trying to grab the mick from Chris. I kid you not, it's like watching a toddler trying to snatch a lollipop from a grown-up, except the toddler is wearing designer clothes and has a team of PR people furiously typing away on their phones in the background. Chris, ever the gentleman, tries to sidestep her at first, but Megan's persistent, I'll give her that. She's got that look in her eye, you know the one. It's the, I haven't been on a magazine cover in weeks, and I'm getting twitchy look. It's desperate, it's sad, and it's hilarious all at once. Finally, after what feels like an eternity of this awkward dance, Chris has had enough. He stops mid-song. And let me tell you, when Coldplay stops playing, you know something's gone terribly wrong. He turns to Megan, and in the most British way possible, which, let's be honest, is still pretty darn polite. He says, I'm sorry, but this is a private performance. Could you please step back? Oh, the shock on Megan's face. It's like someone just told her that tires are out of fashion. For a moment, she's frozen, probably trying to compute how someone could possibly resist her charms. But our girl's nothing if not persistent. She tries to laugh it off, pretending it's all a big joke. Oh, come on, Chris. The people want to see us together. She chirps, still reaching for that mick like it's the last lifeboat on the Titanic. But Chris Martin, ladies and gentlemen, proves he's not just a pretty face with a nice voice. He's got backbone too. He signals to security, and before you can say, paradise, two burly guys in black t-shirts are making their way through the crowd. Now, Megan's no fool. Well, debatable, but let's give her this one. She sees the writing on the wall, or in this case, the security guards in the crowd. But does she go quietly? Oh no, that would be far too dignified for our drama queen. Instead, she starts waving to the crowd, blowing kisses like she's on a parade float, trying to make it look like this was all part of some grand plan. The security guards, bless them, are having none of it. They flank her on either side and start to escort her away. And by escort, I mean they're practically lifting her off her feet as she tries to dig her heels in. It's like watching a cat being dragged to the vet. All flailing limbs and indignant noises. As she's being led away, Megan's still trying to salvage the situation. She's shouting over her shoulder, Chris, call me, we should collab. The second-hand embarrassment is so thick you could cut it with a knife. The crowd, who up until this point has been in a state of confused shock, finally finds its voice. And let me tell you, it's not cheers of support for Megan they're hearing.
It's a mix of boos, laughter, and one very clear shout of get lost, you Z-list faker. Ouch. Talk about a tough crowd. But hey, when you crash a Coldplay gig, you get what you deserve. Chris, ever the professional, tries to bring the focus back to the music. Sorry about that, folks, he says, flashing that million-dollar smile. Now, where were we? And just like that, they launch back into We Pray like nothing happened. But oh, something definitely happened. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Isn't this a bit harsh? Maybe Megan just wanted to enjoy the music. Oh, you sweet summer children, let me break it down for you. This wasn't some innocent fan moment gone wrong. This was a calculated, desperate grab for attention from someone who's so addicted to the spotlight. She'd crash a funeral if she thought it'd get her on the front page. Oh wait, she kind of did that already, didn't she? Look, I'm all for second chances. Heck, I'm even for third and fourth chances. But Megan's blown through more chances than she has designer outfits. She ditched her royal duties faster than you can say, Megxit, dragged Prince Harry away from his family, and has spent the last few years trying to convince us all that she's some kind of victim-turned-hero. Sorry, honey, but the only thing you're a victim of is your own ego. And let's talk about the timing for a second. Coldplay's in the middle of a record-breaking world tour. They're selling out stadiums left and right. They decide to do this amazing, intimate street performance for their fans. And what does Megan do? She tries to make it all about her. It's like showing up to someone's wedding in a white dress. Except the wedding is a rock concert, and the white dress is, well, Megan's enormous sense of entitlement. But here's the kicker, folks. After security finally managed to drag her away, and let me tell you, it was like trying to separate a barnacle from a ship. Megan had the audacity to have her PR team release a statement. Oh yes, because heaven forbid we go more than five minutes without hearing from the Duchess of Delusion. The statement, and I quote said, The Duchess of Sussex was merely attempting to show her support for Coldplay's charitable efforts. Her intention was to make a surprise donation to their chosen cause. Oh please. The only thing she was trying to donate was her face to every camera in a five-mile radius. Let's be real here. If Megan really wanted to make a donation, she could have done it quietly, behind the scenes. You know, like actual philanthropists do. But no, that wouldn't get her face splashed across the tabloids, would it? It wouldn't feed that insatiable need for attention that seems to drive her every waking moment. And can we talk about poor Harry for a second? Where was he during all this? probably off to the side, looking like a lost puppy, wondering how on earth he went from being a beloved prince to the arm candy of a D-list celebrity wannabe. Talk about a fall from grace. It's like watching a Shakespearean tragedy, except instead of noble kings and queens, we've got a former actress who can't seem to understand that the world doesn't revolve around her. Now, I know some people will say I'm being too hard on Meghan. They'll cry misogyny or racism or whatever other buzzword they can throw out to deflect from the real issue. But let's be clear, this isn't about Megan's gender or her race. This is about her actions. This is about a grown woman who seems to think that the whole world is her stage and the rest of us are just extras in her personal drama. The saddest part of all this, it's not even surprising anymore. Megan crashing events, trying to insert herself into situations where she doesn't belong. It's become as predictable as the tide. At this point, I'm half expecting her to show up at my nephew's little league game, trying to pitch the first ball. But you know what? There's a silver lining to all this madness. For one glorious moment, Meghan Markle managed to do something I never thought possible. She made me feel sympathy for the royal family. I mean, can you imagine having to deal with this level of drama and attention-seeking on a daily basis? No wonder they were relieved when she decided to step back from royal duties. It must have felt like finally getting rid of that one relative who always ruins Thanksgiving dinner. In the end though, the real winners here are Coldplay and their fans. Despite Meghan's best, or worst, efforts, the band pulled through. They gave an amazing performance, turned a potential disaster into a memorable moment, and proved why they're one of the biggest bands in the world. And as for the fans, well, they got more than they bargained for. Not only did they get to see Coldplay up close and personal, but they also got front row seats to the latest episode of the Meghan Markle show, Desperation Edition. So, what's the moral of this story, kids? 
Simple. No matter how fancy your title, how expensive your clothes, or how many magazine covers you've graced, you can't buy class. And you certainly can't force your way into a Coldplay concert. Stick to your lane, Megan. Leave the performing to the professionals. And maybe, just maybe, consider the radical idea that not everything in this world needs to be about you. As for Coldplay, keep doing what you're doing, lads, and maybe invest in some extra security for your next surprise gig. You never know when a thirsty ex-royal might try to crash the party. So stay tuned, my friends, because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the royals, it's that the drama never stops, and neither do I. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.